Cymru sort of ben o darall o grey matter. And if you're wondering what on earth that was, that was Welsh, the language of my home country of Wales. And seeing as March the 1st marks a big day in Wales as we celebrate St David's Day, I thought we'd take a look inside bilingual brains. There are many interesting things going on inside the brain of people who speak more than one language. In many ways, their brain functions more efficiently and can have amazing health benefits. Research has shown that bilingualism, particularly from early childhood, can enhance certain abilities like concentration and task performance. Bilingual primary school children, or children who speak one language and are picking up another, seem to be better at blocking out distractions than their monolingual classmates. They are better at concentrating and have better working memories, and this seems to be present in bilingual adults as well. This could be because they are constantly using sophisticated mechanisms in their brain to stop the two languages interfering with one another. This is called the executive control system, and it's used in concentration, analysing and higher functions. Monolinguals also utilise the executive control systems when speaking, because it helps us find the right word, concept and context for the sentence. But bilinguals and multilinguals are using this system even more to stop one language from interacting with the other. And because they're constantly using this system, bilinguals and multilinguals have an enhanced executive control system. And then this transfers to non-verbal tasks like homework. Other researchers found that bilingualism can help delay the onset of dementia. They found that bilingualism delays the onset of dementia up to four years, and speaking more than two languages can delay it even further. Being bilingual or multilingual also seems to help another major function in the brain, which neuroscientists call plasticity. Plasticity refers to the ability for the brain to constantly change and adapt. And scientists have found that multilinguals have increased plasticity in their brain. And even children who have had brief exposure to a second language show this increased plasticity. But the main question for multilinguals is, where are the different languages stored in the brain? Different parts of the brain control different functions, including different aspects of language. And a big question is, are different languages stored in different parts of the language sections of the brain? Multilinguals show similar brain activation in similar brain areas when they speak each individual language they know. However, this differs depending on when they learn the language. We see different brain activity in multilinguals who have picked up their languages all at the same time, and those who have picked them up at different times. Multilinguals who acquire their language when they're young and at the same time show similar activation in parts of Broca's area and the left inferior frontal lobe. If the second language is acquired later in life, the language becomes centralised in a different part of Broca's area than that of the language they learnt when they were young. Research has also found that when bilinguals flip between their two languages, they show increased activation on the right-hand side of their brain. They show particular activity in the area of the brain called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which also helps in executive control and attention to language. This expanded activity is so prominent that it's considered the neurological signature of bilingualism. So that's the breakdown on bilingual brains. Stay tuned for the next episode of Grey Matter.